Okay, fire signs are up. Aries, I'm starting with you. Um, I'm reading from a different location. I'll go back to my my old habitat next week, but um, so in case you're having a hard time hearing me. I had started reading for you. I had to get up and go do something. So I don't want to redraw because it's a really great reading and I wanted you, you know, to to hear it. So I'm going to just tell you what's happening so far. I started the reading by telling you I can see somebody's feeling rejected. Somebody's moving on. I believe this is you moving on because it's like a happy like a uh, situation where you know you're taking these steps to make yourself happier you weren't you weren't doing what you were supposed to be doing you weren't you were you you had like this 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 change of heart or this change of direction um and and I don't know if you're doing it just for you or for you and your children or you know but I see that like you want to better yourself and um in the process somebody you know has to be left behind so let's start over here so again, going back to what I said, there was like this stagnancy in your life. You, you know, you weren't headed, you weren't, there was no change. There was nothing going on. Um, there was some sort of frustration around it. And you, you want something more. You want a whole, like this in completely different life, right? And so it looks like you've spent a long time really, you know, studying or, uh, researching um, somebody did go to school here because I see somebody coming out of money quite a bit um, whether it's because of payment tuition something of that nature or you know it took a, a lot of, of money to invest somewhere in order for you to change your life you know something like that somebody's coming out of pocket quite a bit um, however you got your you got your passion back you know you got your your zest for life back you you have direction you have focus and it's it's really beautiful you're going to get your wish by the way you know whatever it is it's going to be beautiful um this is really probably the best reading i've ever done for you to be honest with you um we also have a situation where you know somebody somebody wanted to argue and fight and you were kind of like tired of tired of that um <clears throat> you want to drop the burden uh i also see somebody taking a journey now i don't know if this is an emotional journey you know, like a journey of the mind, or if this is a physical journey, but somebody's taking a journey, getting over something that was hard, it was difficult, you know, to do it, like, at some point, it hurt your heart, but now you're like, okay with it. And then there's this person, um, again, I don't know if it's an air sign or a Pisces, that is having a really hard time detaching from you who's having, like, they just, again, doesn't have to be a love relationship, but they're just really, um, they're mourning you, okay. And, and they really don't want to, you guys, it looks like you guys are not in communication or if you are, it's very limited. Um, but you yourself, you know, the, the ideas are coming to you again. The creativity is coming to you again. The, um, the passion that you lost, you know, somewhere is, it's like you're, I just see somebody like coming up with all these brilliant ideas. It's like, it's really... Aries, honestly, this is such a fantastic read for you. That's why I didn't want to like reshuffle and start again. Um, but we're going to continue now. What else do you want Aries to know? Sun, moon, and rising. What other messages do we have for Aries? Ooh, um, this is strange. So some of you, once again, like I said, money is going to be very tight right now. But for others of you, there is still a relationship here. So, you know, you're still linked to somebody or somebody's coming in. I'm going to clarify, okay? Obviously, there's more than one Aries here, so it could be both things, you know, depending on which Aries. But with the tower here, I want to see what the tower is about before I get into the relationship situation. What is this tower about? Because clearly it has to do with a relationship. I see a storm that's going to cause like giant waves. I don't know what, what that's about, but I'm just going to tell you guys that. We'll do some damage, perhaps. definitely about a relationship it's about a relationship that has to end okay 
like a romantic relationship that has to end. Clarify. Okay, so somebody was um, not honest and betrayed the other person. Ooh, very nice. She's a chef. Um, I don't know necessarily if it was like a cheating, scandalous sort of thing, or if it was just like, you know, I mean, there was more than one person involved here, but again, it doesn't mean it was cheating. Maybe you were out with your friends too much or that person was bitter about it, you know, something like that. But I see you enjoying yourself more when you're out of this situation. Okay, sweetheart. What else do you want Aries to know? Yeah, that person's feeling rejected. You're gonna have some obstacles, okay? Um, you shut down emotionally from this person. You are gonna have some obstacles, but the obstacles are going to lead you to the greatest success that you've probably had in a long time, okay? Um, or maybe ever, I don't really know. Um, but it, it, I see it as almost like this journey where you have to complete these tasks, almost sounds like a video game, um, in order to get to where you're going. Again, I'm seeing a turbulent storm over water. I don't know why, Aries, I have no idea. Um, but I also see somebody sort of like pointing in a direction for you, so there will be people along the way that are going to assist you or get, guide you, you know? Aries is such a good read. Moving forward again with the storm, I don't know. You drew your own card, um, which is beautiful. You're ready to conquer. Like, <clears throat> can you see this? You're ready to conquer. Um, I think this is great. I don't think anything's gonna like prevent you and you're focused, you're driven, like you've got it. I hope this is like, I don't wanna keep repeating myself and you guys are gonna be like, can you shut up? So hold on a second. Let me see if I can get anything else. Expect that person to really be struggling, like really struggling, missing you, okay? They they are not moving on. Finances, again, This, okay, so finances, like I said, are not good. They will improve, obviously, if you have direction and drive and whatnot, but right now they are not good. Um, do expect this person does want a reconciliation at some point or even now, okay? They do want to fix this. I... I don't know if they want to fix this because of financial issues or or what, but if you are wondering if there's still a third party involved, yes. Whether it's on your side or their side is unclear right now, okay? But the third party is still involved. You might meet um, a fellow fire sign could be younger than you or could be Capricorn, but I'm getting, I think it's another fire sign um, who's going to want to like trap you. I don't know how else to put that. They're going to want to like, they want this relationship enough to be almost like deviant about it. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I don't really love that. Let me grab another deck and ask some more questions. I don't think you've met that person yet. They have like a very um, sweet, bubbly, you know, kind hearted demeanor that is not, you know, they're, they may not show like that other side of them, um, not right away anyway. Okay, 
I've been for some reason wanting to use one of my older decks that I thought I ruined and then I looked at it today and it dried out so it wasn't actually ruined. So I'm going to use that. Tell me what else you want Aries to know, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, you have a new connection coming in. If you're single, you I think you're going to tell them that, you know, you're busy with life. You, like, as much as you're going to continue seeing them, you're not ready for anything committed. You might be just getting out of a marriage or another situation anyway. Um, like I said, I feel like this person's going to try to manipulate the situation to almost, like, force you to be with them. Shit. Be careful about getting, I feel like you're going to fall behind on bills, so be careful about that. Um, for those of you that are going through some sort of divorce, I don't see it going in your favor, unfortunately. I don't think you care because you're moving on. What else do you want Aries to know? Again, I think somebody's dealing with a Pisces for sure. The past person, not the new person. Let me grab a different deck. That one's not telling me anything but what we already saw. Anything else for um, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Anything else? I'll, I'll draw three more cards, and if I don't see anything new, I'll just move on. That was good. Once you leave this situation, everything's going to start. It really is going to be fantastic. It really is. I think, and you're going to have, like, all this appreciation and... Um, you know, it's, it's really good. It's really good. The only negative thing I'm seeing here is a financial situation where, like I said, you're going to be out of pocket a great deal of money, you know, but you know, there's always the yin and the yang to every situation, right? Anyway, Aries, that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed.